In today's video, you're going to learn how to back up and restore save files using Save Game Manager GX for the Wii and Wii U. You can use this to transfer your save data from one console to the other, or you can download a 100% save file like I will be doing in this video and loading it onto your Wii. Now this will also allow you to back up your Miis so that you can use them on your Retag or your Utag. So all you need for this tutorial is a homebrewed Wii or Wii U, it works on both of them. So we're going to start off by getting the actual homebrew app, so linked below I have three links, if you click on the first one it'll take you to this WeeBrew page where you can download Save Game Manager GX. This page also has some information if you want to scroll down how to use it, um, it says this app requires iOS 58 so you do need to have your custom iOS's installed. And it also mentions that you do need a save file already existing on your Wii for the game you want to add the save to. So all you gotta do is play the game once and then you can go ahead and change the save file. But scrolling back up to the top on the right side, just hit download and it should download the Save Game Manager GX app. Next up, this one is an option but I have a link if you would like to get the channel forwarder. So it'll take you to this GBA temp page. If you scroll down, you can see channel forwarders here. Now this is very important if you are on Wii just get the official light channel or the official dark channel, it's all your preference. If you are on Wii U, make sure you download the one that says VWii. That's very important, you don't want to install a WAD that's meant for the Wii for the Wii U. Make sure you're getting the right one. So personally, I'm doing this on my Wii U, so I'm going to grab the VWii official dark channel. But make sure you pick the one you want, it'll take you to this page and your download will start in 5 seconds. And there we go. So we can close that and the third link will take you to the page if you would like a 100% save file. But first I'm going to take you onto my Wii U and show you how to back up your saves first. So let's start off by opening up our SD card. So I have my SD card I used to mod my Wii U on the right and my downloads on the left. Start off by opening Save Game Manager GX. It'll have this file and all we have to do is grab it and drag it into our apps folder. This will be the same whether you're on Wii or Wii U. It's the apps folder on the root of your SD card. We can exit the zip file and now if you chose to, we're going to set up the WAD. So open up the zip file for the WAD and this is what you'll see. So on your SD card, if you do not already have a WAD folder, create one. Just spell it W-A-D, all lowercase. And then we're just going to grab the channel forwarder WAD and drag it into that folder that we created or already had. But as you can see, we got the forwarder inside. And if you are unfamiliar with installing WADs, you will need a WAD manager. Um, I suggest WeMod Lite. So I will also have a link to download that one as well. So all you have to do is download that one and put it in your apps folder to set it up. But once you're all set, we are ready to head over onto your Wii or Wii U. I'll meet you over there. So we're over on my virtual Wii. We are gonna install the channel forwarder first. So we're gonna go into the homebrew channel and then we're gonna head into WeMod Lite. So as you can see, Save Game Manager is right here and you can enter through the homebrew channel using the app, but we're going to be installing the channel forwarder and then going into there from our menu. So we're going to load into Wii Mod Lite, go into WAD Manager, select the source device, which mine is SD slot, and there it is. We're just going to press A on it and install WAD by pressing A again. Should be pretty quick. There we go. And then we can hit the home button and it'll return to the homebrew channel. But if we go back to our system menu, you can see that we have Save Game Manager GX. Now it's in my disk channel slot because my I moved it with Preloader. If you want to know how to do that, check the link in the description. I have a video on that as well. But now we can load it through our menu, which is very cool. So let's do it. Start it up. All right, and we're loaded in. The first thing I'm gonna do is show you how to back up your Mi. This is especially good for anyone who's setting up UTag, which if you wanna do that, I have a video for that as well. But in order to do that, go to the hotbar at the top. Right now it's showing all of our SD card folders, but hit the SD icon in the hotbar and select Mi. So I have one Mi right here, so I'm gonna click on it and all we have to do is press extract. When it asks you where to extract it, just hit default and it will go to a save me's folder. And if you don't have that, it will just create one and put it there. So press okay. And just like that, you backed up your me. 
And now I'll show you how to back up your save data for your games. So in the hotbar, click the same icon and click on Wii. And this will show all your save data for your Wii. Every game that you've played, it will be in here. And this is not my main Wii U, so that's why I only have a couple different. But we're going to be doing it for New Super Mario Bros. Wii. And just to show you, uh, I'll load up into New Super Mario Bros. Wii and show you that I do not have any games on the go on this Wii U. So there's no 100% games, so you'll see when we change that. So let's click on it and it will give you this screen. So the first thing to notice is these four letters right here. This is your title ID, and this is very important because it's region specific. Mine is North American, so these are the title ID for my game. If you're European, slightly different, same with Japanese. Make sure you know which region your Wii or Wii U is. But it's very easy, all we're gonna do is hit the compress button, hit default, it will create a private folder with a Wii folder and a title folder and it'll go into there. So just press OK. It'll compress your save data and we're good to go. Press OK. Exit out. You can turn off your Wii or Wii U and I'll meet you back on the computer and show you where it is. You're going to notice two new folders, Save Me's and Private. Let's check out our backed up me first. So go into your Save Me's folder and you should see whatever your me name was plus dot me gx. Now if you are backing this up for the purpose of UTAG, we need to change the file extension. So just right click, hit rename, uh, click on the file extension and just change it to MAE. Press enter, you'll get this prompt here, just hit yes. So now I'll show you uploading it to the retag website. So just grab it and place it. And there you go, you can see it works. Press save, it'll update, and you should see your me pop up right there. And now let's move on to our save files. So back on the root of your SD card, let's go into private, we, title, and this is the title ID. So this is the title ID for New Super Mario Bros. Wii North American region. Go inside and you should see a data.bin file. That is your actual save data right there. So just like that, you have your save data for that specific game on your PC. But if you wanna keep it safe, just create a new folder anywhere on your PC. Um, I'm gonna call it New Super Mario Bros. Wii Save Data. And then I suggest going back to the root of your SD card and copying the private folder to that new folder on your PC. Just because that's the setup you need with the data.bin file all the way in those folders right here. But if you have it transferred on your PC, you are good to go. It is safe and sound. And now I'm going to show you how to get a backed up save file, including the 100% saves upload it onto your Wii or Wii U. So if you hit the third link in the description, it'll take you to this game FAQ website. And all you gotta do is search the game title. So new Super Mario Bros. Oh, there it is. Click on it. And in this hot bar, just go over to the saves and you should see different downloadable save files. This is where your title ID is important as it will say which one is for. This one is SMNE, which is North American. Scroll down, you see Europe, it's SMNP. But for me, mine is North American, so I'm gonna pick one of these. It'll have descriptions, so fire save box 100%. Five shiny stars, Toad House at the beginning of all worlds. It gives you a little description of what the save file is like. So let's grab the one from Fire J Bricks Gaming. Just hit the download icon and it'll download a .bin file. Now we need to modify that one a little bit. And this is just a warning, but if you want to get a 100% save file on Mario Kart Wii, I highly suggest using this method using VNLocker instead of Save Game Manager GX. If you do it on Save Game Manager GX, it will wipe the me associated with that account. So if you play online, it will reset your friend code and you'll lose your other one. So again, I got my downloads on the left, my SD card on the right, and we're gonna open up the private folder, Wii, Title, SNME, or whichever game you're doing, and then go find that data.bin file that you backed up. If you did not back up a save file, all you need to do is create private folder, create a Wii folder, create title folder, and then the title ID folder as well, and then go inside of there. Because I backed up my save data, I'm going to delete this data.bin file. Make sure that folder is empty, and we're going to grab the one we downloaded and drag it into that folder. 
<laughs> if you're curious, I played a whole KO on CTGP with the Tiny Titan item rain. Check out my clips channel if you want to watch it. It was really fun. But once you have that in there, we're going to right click on it, rename it, and just call it data. So it's going to look the exact same as the one you backed up, but this is going to be the save data you downloaded, which in my case is 100%. Go back to the root of your SD card, and that is all you need to do to set it up. Let's head back over to Save Game Manager GX and get it installed on our Wii U. And once you're back on the app, go into the private folder, Wii, Title, and then for whichever game you're doing, select the title ID, mine is New Super Mario Bros. Wii, just to remind you. And here is our save file right here. It should look like this. So next up, we're just going to click on it. It will have the option to install, copy, decompress, delete. Double check that it's the right title ID. You need to make sure it's correct. But when you're ready, click install. Remember, this will wipe your previous save data and replace it with this one. So if you're ready to do that, hit install. It'll install from your folders and click OK. It'll say successfully installed, press OK, and now we can head over into the game and see if it worked. All right, we're loaded up. Let's see if it worked. And there we go. We have three World 9, 99 lives, five stars. We now have a 100% save file. This is great for games like Super Smash Bros where you want to unlock characters or this one where you just want to have everything unlocked so you can play whichever world you want. I hope you were able to follow the guide well. And if you're interested in more modding videos, I have a complete playlist for the Wii, Wii U, 3DS and DSi down below. So make sure to check those out. And there's also the option to join my Discord if you need help or if you want to hang out or play Mario Kart Wii with us. If you found it helpful, make sure to hit that like button. It really helps me out. And I hope to see you in another video. Stay funky and happy modding. <laughs>